The power outages are tying up roads all across West Michigan. 24-hour news aides Crystal Hilliard is live at Burton and Eastern and Grand Rapids where the lights have been out for much of the commute. I know on my way to work this afternoon, Crystal, not Thanks. one traffic light was working. Well, Susie, actually just moments ago, this traffic light here at Eastern and Burton just came back on. It happened probably about five to ten minutes ago. But, you know, like you said, this afternoon, the wind knocked power out all around town to lights everywhere. But as you can see, the traffic lights are working. Traffic is moving back open again. But if you can take a look at that video that we shot earlier, you can see traffic was bumper to bumper for about a mile. Now, we were down here at Burton and Eastern for about an hour and a half. And all down 20, and we told it was, we were told it was all down 28th Street from Eastern that it was just back and crazy as the evening commute picked up. It got worse. Heritage Hills, we saw at Fulton and College, there was a light out. Downtown, Grand Rapids Community College, the lights were out. Now, the city couldn't tell us exactly when the lights were going to come back on, and they, they still can't tell us when all of the lights are coming back on, but we do know crews are working to restore power without power throughout the area. It's certainly frustrating for drivers that were stuck in that traffic earlier today. Take a listen. Traffic light is not working. <laughs> it's backed up everywhere. I'm not complaining. We, as long as we keep it moving. Right now what we're asking is that people just treat all intersections as four-way stops until we get the proper correct. How far is it all the way to 20th Street? Yes, sir, it is. All right. Not only the southeast area. Now, it's not just the traffic lights that were out today. We're also told a lot of city buildings lost power, so it's really crazy this afternoon. Somebody described this as gridlocked, and that's really what the city looked like. But as the power comes back on, obviously the evening commute is going to be a little bit more calm, a lot easier to get around for those of you who are getting off work in the hours to come as opposed to those who got off work at about 5 o'clock. But we will keep you posted to all of the lights as they come back on throughout town. For now, we're live on the city's southeast side. Crystal Hill, your 24-hour news aides. All right, good to hear. Thank Thank you, Crystal. Consumers energy crews are spread out right now trying to turn the power back on. The highest concentration of outages are in Kent County with nearly 2,000 homes without electricity. Montcalm County is the second worst. There are outages in nearly every county in the state. Consumers is working around the clock. Right now they can't promise when all of the power will be restored.